sometimes it's worse not to see. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest TV deaths you don't see. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, even if it's implied that the character is about to die, if the actual death is off-screen, it counts. We're excluding forensics crime dramas like CSI, because there are too many of those deaths to include. Also, two words. Spoiler alert. On the door! On the door! On the door! Number 10. Violet Harmon, American Horror Story American Horror Story started off strong out of the gate with the terrifying season of television referred to as Murder House revolving around a family living in a haunted house. Midway through the season, we see what we think is a failed suicide attempt by teenager Violet when she's saved by her ghostly boyfriend, Tate. Don't you die on me! <laughs> it's only near the end of the season that we find out it wasn't a failed suicide attempt at all. Turns out we saw Violet die and just didn't know it. Please stay, please, I don't want to die. It's too late for that. And neither did she. Violet only finds out she's dead when Tate shows her her own corpse hidden beneath the house. <gasps> Number 9. Dale Lacey, Castle Rock Hulu's series based on the lore of Stephen King fittingly gave us one scary off-screen death in its very first episode. Warden Lacey of Shawshank Prison, played by lost veteran Terry O'Quinn, commits suicide on the day of his retirement for mysterious reasons. Lacey drives out to a nearby cliff, ties a rope to a tree, puts a noose around his neck, and drives off the cliff. It's a horrifying death that we're thankfully spared from seeing, but the blood spatter shot we do get tells us all we need to know. Number 8. Bullet – The Killing The Killing was never a massively popular series, but it did have a strong enough fan base to get a Netflix revival when it was cancelled by AMC. In the show's third season, homeless teenage badass informant Bullet is introduced, quickly becoming a fan-favorite character. After being stalked by an unknown person in the season 3 episode Try, Bullet is killed off-screen and her body is discovered in the following episode by Joel Kinnaman's Detective Holder. Oh, the place, Tom. By the end of the season, we discover that Bullet was killed by none other than the leader of the Seattle Special Investigations Unit, James Skinner. Number 7. Vince Parker, Supernatural Supernatural has had its fair share of off-screen deaths due to its status as a horror show on the relatively mild CW. Few, if any, have been scarier, however, than this season one death that saw a young couple Vince and Holly stranded on the side of a remote road. The two come upon a terrifying-looking scarecrow as they search for help. That has got to be the freakiest damn scarecrow I've ever seen. It scares me. Vince soon disappears, leaving Holly alone. It isn't long before she happens upon his skinless corpse, left by the scarecrow. It's by far one of the more gruesome deaths on the long-running horror series. One we won't be able to forget as we try to fall asleep. <coughs> Number 6. Principal Flutie and Herbert the Pig, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Joss Whedon's modern classic television series about the titular teenage vampire hunter produced some of the best horror moments on TV during its seven-season run. One of the more ghastly deaths on the show happened off-screen in Season 1, when Principal Flutie and the school's mascot pig Herbert are eaten alive by a pack of hyena-possessed students that have been terrorizing the school. Oh, are you insane? <laughs> Buffy is eventually able to stop the students, but not before they cause some serious damage. Really, it only took the series six episodes to kill off their first principal and by students, no less. Color us surprised more kids didn't ask to transfer schools. Number 5. Hodor – Game of Thrones Game of Thrones has been responsible for the deaths of countless characters, both hated and beloved by fans. Chalk this one up in the beloved column. 
We're thankfully spared from witnessing Hodor being torn apart by whites, but honestly, it doesn't make the scene any easier to watch. In the very same episode that we learn his history, and that Bran was the one who caused his simple-mindedness with his time travel shenanigans, Hodor dies protecting Bran and Mira from an onslaught of attacking undead. This episode ends with Hodor's final moments, before the undead break through the door. Number 4. Barbara Holland, Stranger Things Despite her death at the hands of the Demogorgon in only the third episode of Stranger Things, the memory of Barb has lived on in the hearts and minds of fans. After attending a get-together at Steve's house, Barb disappears into the Upside Down, finding herself face-to-face -face with the hideous creature at the bottom of a pool. After trying to escape, Barb is pulled down into the pool by the creature, and that's the last time we see her alive. Her death haunts the characters of the series, especially Nancy, who's driven to find out what happened to her best friend. Number 3. Sophia Peltier, The Walking Dead Sure this is the spot? I left her right here. Many remember season 2 of The Walking Dead as a bore that saw the group stuck at the farm for an entire season. We can't really argue with you, but the handling of Sophia's death was surprisingly effective. After being chased into the woods by walkers early on in the season, much of what follows is the group searching for her, hoping she's still alive. It's only when they find out that Herschel's been keeping walkers in his barn that both the characters and the audience discover that Sophia has been a walker the whole time. It's a heartbreaking moment in the series, and imagining Sophia's death alone in the woods is an utterly horrifying thought. Number 2. Laura Palmer, Twin Peaks The entirety of David Lynch's and Mark Frost's original Twin Peaks revolved around the aftermath of the brutal murder of teenage homecoming queen Laura Palmer. Morning, Pete. Harry. She's dead. Wrapped in plastic. Laura is killed the night before the series begins, and seeing the effect of her unsolved murder on the town of Twin Peaks creates a distinct sense of eeriness as well as sadness. But I think they're gonna lock me up. Why? I don't have an alibi for last night. I was with her. When we eventually find out more about her killer and the events that led to her death, it becomes all the more terrifying. In the film follow-up to the series, Fire Walk With Me, we see glimpses of Laura's murder, but much of the brutality thankfully remains off-screen. Number 1. Rita Morgan, Dexter After killing and disposing of rival Miami serial murderer the Trinity Killer, Dexter Morgan returns home, with both him and the audience believing that everything's come to an end with Dexter victorious once again. Soon, however, Dexter finds his son sitting in a pool of his wife's blood on the bathroom floor, with Rita lying dead in their bathtub. John Lithgow's Trinity had visited the Morgan house before his confrontation with Dexter, and had killed Rita. Dexter's discovery of the body resulted in one of the most shocking and horrifying moments in TV history, one that we won't soon forget, if ever. But it doesn't matter what I do, what I choose, I'm what's wrong. This is fate. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.